trying to search for things on Google, you know, Google, it's kind of like waiting for a train that will never show. So today, I want to dedicate what I call uh, some Google tricks. Research tip number two. Here we go. Well, here it is, our Google page. And it's a very important page because this is where we do our searches. And we know we've been looking for some uh, merchants from the city of Bristol back in England. And one of those merchants in the 18th century was a man by the name of Henry Dampier. So if I type in Henry Dampier, we see that 375,000 results pop up, including a man who happens to have a Twitter account. I don't think that's our Henry, no. Uh, he also has his own website and his own blog. Uh, and there's people who are interviewing Henry. So this is not our Henry, and we're not going to go through 375,000 of these things to figure out who Henry Dampier is. We want the one from the city of Bristol. So let's do this. Let's put Henry Dampier in quotes. Now, what this is going to do is it's going to take the word Dampier and Henry and by putting them in quotes, find the exact phrase. So we'll click that. And now we have 18,400 results. Way less than before, but way too many now. So what are we going to do? Well, we can tell Google specifically which sites to search for. So here's one that says search just YouTube. Well, Henry Dampier wasn't around uh, when YouTube was there, so we're going to type in something different. We're going to type in .edu, any website with an edu extension on it. So any American university, basically, United States University or college with a .edu and the name Henry Dampier. Please go look. Google, do it now. And Google comes up with nine results. Hmm. And uh, seems to be a novel, The Bible Salesman. Uh, and he seems to be a fictional character. And uh, that seems to be about it. But, but you said no, no. No, we just need to look for a different site. So he's not on .edu sites. He's not in, a, in, in an American academic uh, world. But he might be in a journal or two if we did .ac.uk because Henry Dampier is from the city of Bristol in England. It would make sense if he would show up in academia, AC, academia, UK, United Kingdom. So let's see if that happens site colon dot ac dot uk go and we get 49 results and uh, one of them is from the modern archives at king's college in cambridge and uh, we see henry dampier right there but a different born on date and a different death date than what we're accustomed to oh, there's a timeline here though and this is from the university of west england from their humanities department and the University of West England is in Bristol. So let's see what that's all about. And if we open that up, we get a timeline. And if we did a control F and a little box will pop up here to the right and we type in Dampier, uh, we see that Henry Dampier in 1755 was the mayor of Bristol. And in 1750, he was the master of the merchant ventures. Now, that's pretty cool. So this is helping us, right? Uh, go back to Google again. Pop up Henry Dampier in quotations, site, colon, dot, ac, dot, uk. And you found some really good stuff. What else did we find here? We found uh, Bristol, Africa, and the 18th century slave trade to America. Now, this is a big file. I downloaded it right here. And uh, Dampier shows up down here in a footnote. And if we zoom in on that, uh, it says Henry Dampier 
uh, some like James Day and Henry Dampier, were evidently related by marriage and most had been born into or acquired through marriage and apprenticeship, close connections with prominent local merchant families, and they were able, therefore, to invest substantially in the slave trade in their own right and through their reputation and connections to encourage others to invest in it, too. So we've learned something right here. And then you just, we are over the control F. Now we're starting to get, in 1730, Henry Dampierre and company owned the Bridget Galley. Um, so, yeah, so we're finding all sorts of stuff now because we did this. We did the site, colon, dot, ac, dot, uk, with Henry Dampier in quotations. Google. This is tip number two. How to make Google do what you want it to. It's pretty amazing stuff. You made uh, um, Google do what you wanted it to do, and you didn't have to go through 375,000 or 18,400 sites to look at. So, hey, hope that was helpful. Tip number two, it's for you. Thank you very much.